welcome to my youtube channel this is sichamba jacob all right so in uh, this video our idea is to help out people be able to understand what is involved in linear programming and be able to answer exam questions involving uh, linear programming all right so uh, if you are watching or if you are watching this video for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so and um, like comment okay and make sure you watch the video up to the end because uh, there is a lot of things that will help you be able to understand linear programming all right so let me talk about uh, this linear programming we know that this is uh, actually uh, related to a straight line so this linear is related to a straight line i guess we all know what a straight line is so what makes straight line different from uh, linear is actually these things so we have uh, greater okay we have uh, less we have uh, greater or equal to less or equal to so these are the things that makes it uh, linear different from uh, straight lines all right so let's try to just do a little bit of some work here okay i've got uh, these equations and uh, inequalities right here so we try to work them out we try to solve them and see how the solutions for this uh, equation for this equation and uh, the inequality how the solutions will look like if they will be the same or different okay so the procedure of solving will just be the same we have uh, 3x minus 2x uh, is equal to negative 1 okay so the next thing here is to just uh, subtract 2x from 3x of which it will remain with x so our x will be equal to negative 1 right here okay so in case you are wondering that how did this negative 2x come in here it was here it was positive so it came this side and it became uh, uh, negative so like i said earlier on that the procedure is just the same okay though we have different signs but the uh, procedure of solving these are just the same so the answer here will be like this you see the way it looks this and this so when it comes to solving solving equations and linear programming uh, it's uh, all uh, inequalities the procedure of solving is just the same all right so i would like to also give you an idea on uh, how to find the uh, equation of a straight line because these are the key points key points of what you need to know when it comes to linear programming so how do you find the equation of this line very simple the first thing is to find uh, the gradient and the equation for finding uh, gradient is over here okay this is an equation we know that we've got uh, points 0 comma 2 and uh, 3 comma 4 so we need to find the gradient very important that's a slope in case you didn't know that uh, gradient is a slope you have to know today that it's a slope so here we put uh, 4 minus 2. In other ways, when you have uh, two points or set of coordinates and you want to find the gradient, indicate that this is these are my ones, x1, y1, this is my x2, y2. Okay, so that you just uh, pick and uh, plug them in your formula. So we have uh, 3 minus 0. Okay. And when we solve here, we have uh, 2 over 3. 
this is our our gradient now since we found the gradient we can use formula again for finding uh, equation of a straight line and this is the formula right here so between these two points or set of coordinates you can pick which one do you want to work with i like working with these smaller numbers so i'll get uh, the first one here so i know that uh, my 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 y is two is equal to my gradient here m i found it right here to be equal to this my x is a zero plus c i'm solving for c and uh, i'll end up with this uh two so c is equal to to two okay so since we have found the c and the m we can get the formula the way it is right there and where m is we put it the value of m which is 2 over a 3 that's a gradient and we put back there or we put the x where it's supposed to be and on the c we put the value of found which is 2 so this is how you find it uh, this is how you find the, the the equation of a straight line so on this same equation of the straight line if this was uh, an inequality for me to show that this is an inequality I was supposed to write either use any of the signs the signs right here we have a greater less than greater or equal to less or equal to so for me to show that this is an equality I have to put one of these okay it's either greater or equal to okay you see so this is how it is so the inequalities and straight lines are a little bit similar the only difference is right here here we use equals here we use these signs okay so that's how it is all right so let me try to do uh something else here so we'll we'll try to graph this we try to graph this but before actually before we graph let me do this before we graph maybe let me just show you the way to look this one y is greater if i were to shade y is greater you know with in uh, these we shade the unwanted region so y is greater or equal to 2 over 3x plus 2 so i was supposed to shade uh, the bottom part right here like this if it was shading i was supposed to shade this part like this because the greater is up here and it's what we want the less is not what we want so I'll shade the less down here all right so we jump on our next example and here it's uh, the issue of graphing okay so the issue of graphing so how do we graph these uh, equations we know these are equations because of the equal sign this side and this side they are inequalities so how do we graph these or this side i'll say functions things like that how do we graph these how do we graph them so very simple you you need i'll start with one one of them which is uh, a straight line so if i want to graph y is equal to 3x plus 6 okay my duty is to just find the y intercept and x intercept so i'll say let y be equal to zero why am i doing this i want to know at which point is this line crossing the x-axis so where it's crossing the x-axis y will be equal to zero so i'll put a zero here is equal to 3x plus 6 okay so now I'll solve I have uh, something like this okay so this one will cross the equal sign it will be negative divide by 3 divide by 3 this and this this so I have uh, negative 2 my x will be equal to negative 2 this implies that this line is passing at 
x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 0. This y here is 0. x is negative 2. So we have that point of which we can show on our Cartesian plane the point. Okay. Okay. So, 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 but before I show, let me finish up. I just finish up. So here we will, we will now say this same equation because we want to find two points where it's passing at x-axis and the y-axis. So we'll say let x is equal to 0. It was let y is equal to 0. Now it's let x is equal to 0. So we'll say y is equal to 3, 0, plus 6. Y is equal to 0 plus 6. Y is equal to 6. So this equation is passing at 0, 6. It's where it's passing. Okay. So since I've gotten these points, I have the points. Uh, this I'll call it point A. And this one as my point B. Remember, we are graphing. Okay. So I'll get my graph so this is my graph right here i want to, sh to shade or i want to show the two points or to show the line so point a is a negative 2 comma 0 point b is 0 comma 6. so here negative 2 comma 0 it's right here 0 comma 6 0 comma 6 is right here okay so I can join those two. The equation or the line will look like this. So this is a line, okay? And here it is. We even indicate it's this. This is what we have. This is the, the, the line. So that's how we do the graphing. So we go to the next question or the next equation. They are saying b is actually oh, what we need to know first of all is that we are graphing these equations like right here we we'll come and graph these inequalities first we graph the equation so that we come and compare how they look and understand the difference so we try now to graph the next one and the next one here it is the b and that b is equal to y is equal to is equals to x so this is y is equals to x plus c one so here we we'll do the same let x or let y whichever you want to start with let y be equal to zero so we'll put a zero here we'll remain with this so for x you find that our x will be equal to negative one this will cross the equal sign it will be negative one so meaning our point is z uh negative one comma zero okay our point is the negative one comma zero all right uh the same thing now we we let the other one so this is our equation so we say let x be equal to zero so we have y is equal to zero where x is there plus one y will be equal to 1. So it is z, uh, 0, 1. So these are the two points. So let's graph them and see how they look. We have, uh, we'll call this as point A and this as a point B. Or point C and D. So point C is negative 1, 0. D is 0, 1. So we have these two points. We can graph them. So C is 0, negative 1 is right here, comma, 0. The other one is right here. So the line will look like this. This is how the line will look like. This is the line we have here which is z, y is equal to x plus c, 1. We graph the last one. The last one here, it's x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1. 
if you can see x is equal to 1 it's right here okay 1 x axis if there is only one letter if you can see we had two letters that's why we are solving like that but there's only one letter which is x there is no need of solving like it the way we are solving here we just go to where one is under x axis and and make a line okay just make a line You even indicate that this is x is equal is equals to one so that's how you graph these lines now for the inequalities okay inequalities these inequalities you can see right here okay let me show you how it will look like for the inequalities actually here it's supposed to be less here it's supposed to be less less or equal to let me write it properly this is x is less or oh i mean just less less than one okay so for these inequalities the way they will look they will look like this so yeah 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 like this this is how it will look like so we know that this is the y is great uh, is less or equal to 3x plus 6 Okay, so this is an equation. An equation y is, is equal to 3x plus 6. It's right here. Now, to show the inequality, the shade, because inequalities brings about shading. To show the shading of the part that's supposed to be shaded, we are shading the greater because this is the greater. It's a up. It's a greater. And this is the, the less. So if you want not to be making mistakes, you just go to where the line it's cutting the y axis you see where it's cutting the y axis which part is greater and which part is less here it's where it's cutting when you go up it's greater here where it's cutting when you go down it's less and this is what we want y is less is what we want the unwanted region is what we shade the other one uh, y is greater or equal to x plus c one so you go to where it's cutting this y axis it's cutting right here which side is greater is it here or here it's going up here it's passing at one going up is greater and this is what the inequality is telling us so we shade what we want we what we don't want the less the bottom part the other one is right here x is less or equal to so the x is less or equal to it is this side which must be shaded because the less is over here we don't want to shade the less we shade the greater the unwanted region so this is how it goes with this part all right so let's try to answer an exam question so this is an exam question right here we have an exam question we check it nicely look and see what we can uh, we can do okay so this is an exam question um they want us to write the inequalities let, let me read the question write four inequalities that define the unshaded region uh R on the diagram below so here we'll start with the, something that looks very simple of which i would say the simplest inequality here is the one which is right here the one written in red so for each inequality i'll be using the color that is there so for red that is you write x is equal to where is it passing at two it's passing at two now to show the inequality you say x okay is less or equal to two because the less is not shaded okay the greater is the one which is shaded so this is the, our answer we go to the next one we we'll go to the green this green if you have seen nicely it's moving like this if uh, x, uh, x is equal to to negative one y will be equal to one if x is equal to negative two y will be equal to two just like that this is how it's moving so you can pick any of the coordinates if you want you can pick uh, you can start with 0 comma 0 because it's passing at 0 here right here and then you also pick negative 1 comma 
1. So these are the points we're going to use. We now use the idea for finding equation of a straight line since we have those two points. So what did I say? What did I say about finding the straight line? This is what I said. You first need the, you need the, the equation for finding the gradient. You find the gradient and then you come and find the, use this formula to find the equation of a straight line. Thereafter, you come and show the inequality. So since we've got those two points, 0, comma, uh, 0 and negative 1, comma, 1. So we can say m is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So now here we indicate this is our x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 so we plug them in we've got uh, our sub 2 there is 1 minus 0 here it's negative 1 minus 0 and when we work out we remain with 1 over negative 1 which is just equal to negative 1 so our gradient in this case is the 1 we, we write the formula for finding equation of a straight line. Okay, we solve for C. Pick N of the coordinates. I'll pick this. So I have Y. Uh, let me say 0, comma 0. There we have a 0 is equal to our gradient is negative 1. Here at X we put a 0 plus C. So when we solve, our C will just be equal to 0. And then... We come and write this, negative 1, x plus 0, of which this will just be equal to negative x. So we have found equation of a straight line there to be equal to negative x. To show the inequality here, which side is shaded? It is the, the less. So we we'll say y is greater, we want the greater, the top part. So we we'll write here. And say y is greater or equal to negative x. This is the answer right here. Okay. We go to the next one. We have four of them. The other one, it's also simple right here using blue. The one which passes like this. It's passing at six. So this one, we can just say y is equals to six. It's passing at 6. Now to show the inequality, we will say y, which part is shaded, the top part, we want the less. y is less than 6. This is the answer. Now, if I put the equal here, if I put, should I put the equal? No, I should not put. Why? It's because the line is dotted. It's cutting. So if it's cutting, you don't put this sign down here or this side. You just write it like that. Okay? We go to the last one, which is in uh, blue. So the last one here, you do the same, pick the coordinates. So how do we pick the coordinates? Where it's cutting the x-axis here, you see, negative 2, comma, 0. And right here, it's a 4, comma, sorry, 0, comma, 4. Same procedure, find the gradient. Finding the gradient. So when finding the gradients there, this will be my x1, y1, x2, y2. Thereafter, plug them in. Once you find them, plug them in. It's 4 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 2. We have a 4, we have a, a 2. And here, we have a, a gradient to be equal to 2. So since we found the, the gradient, we can use this formula to find the equation of a straight line. So I'll go with uh, which one? I'll go with this. 4 is equal to my gradient to be 2 at x, I'll put a 0 plus c. When I solve, I'll have my c is equal, to, uh, is equal to 4. So you write y is equal to 2x plus c, 4. Now to show the inequality, you check which part of the y-axis is shaded the bottom part so meaning it's it's less or equal to 
So we say y is less or equal to 2x plus 4. So this is how you work out this. All right, so we, we now do something a little bit different. Linear programming has got uh, the language. There are languages that we, we normally use. So this is the language that we, we need to understand. So when you come across these words, at least more than or greater than exceed, it means greater or equal to. At most, less than, not exceed, it means less or equal to. Let's say, they say, he has, he has at least five bags of maize. And you'd like to use the inequality, to use the inequality here. So, let's say, let's say, bags of maize are being represented by x so we say x is greater or equal to five because we know that at least means it greater or equal to right here so this is how it will look like okay let me try to answer this maybe i use it in uh, I, I i put we put it into practice we try to answer this example and see how it will look like so they are saying John intends to order drinks for business. He needs to order at least one, at least one here, at least one, one small bottle. And at most, you see the language I was talking about, six large bottles of drinks. He decides to order at most eight bottles altogether. The number of larger bottles he orders should be at least twice the uh, that of small small bottles uh, let x represent small bottles y larger bottles write and graph the inequality so we need to write these inequalities the first one is x because this we know that small bottles is being represented by x so x is greater this at least greater or equal to one the other one y is less or equal to six because this here they're saying at most okay so this is one this is our two this is our three the three they're saying at most eight all together so all together meaning x plus y at most is less or equal to eight thereafter the other one will be will be orders he orders uh he, he larger bottles he orders should uh, be at least so we know that larger bottles is y we say this is four at least we know it's greater or equal to twice is two twice small bottles so these are the inequalities needed okay so we can graph them so to graph I just showed you on how to graph inequalities and lines. That's the same procedure that you must use. So we start with the first one, which is x is equal to x is, is greater or equal to 1. x is greater or equal to 1. So we just go where x is right here and uh, make a line. Since they have said x, this one, the first one, x is greater or equal to. So x is greater, it's this side. So we shade the unwanted region, which is Z, over here. Okay? We go to the next one. Y is Z less or equal to 6. You go to where 6 is. 6 is right here. Okay? They said it's less. If you can see nicely, the question says it's less or equal to. So less or equal to under Y axis, it's down here. So we shade the unwanted which is Z on top, the opposite. And you must be indicating this is Z, X is greater or equal to 1, and this is Y is less or equal to 6. The next one, uh, this one here, X plus Y is less or equal to 8. So you just 
you just say let x is equal to 0 you find that your y you be equal to 8 and when you say let y is equal to 0 your x will be equal to 8 so you can now join these two points so if you don't know what I've just done here, you, you, you check the video at the beginning. I was showing you on how to graph the, the lines. There they are saying it's greater. Okay. This is the uh, greater. Actually, it was supposed to be, yeah, yeah, it's greater. Is it at most? Yeah, it's greater. So since it's greater, we shade the bottom part here. All right. 